In the brain, there is gullibility. How gullible are you? Do you think a neurosurgeon could go into your brain, remove your gullibility, leaving everything else intact? If so, then you're pretty gullible and perhaps ought to consider such an operation. <laughs> I begin with that wonderfully self-referential paraphrase of Dove, Doug Hofstetter's Pulitzer Prize winning book, Gertel Escherbach, because it so nicely captures the character of the fundamental scientific questions that have dominated the work of the Santa Fe Institute for its 26 year history. How does the behavior of a system as a whole arise from the properties of its individual components? How do the properties of a brain, gullibility for example, or perception or memory or intention or action, arise from the individual neurons that make it up? How do the properties and capabilities of cells arise from the properties of molecules, organisms from individual cells, markets, economies, societies from individual human behavior? What makes systems such as economies, the internet, and world conflict so challenging to understand, predict, and control? The answer is that these are all complex adaptive systems composed of many individual components, each with many interconnections, many of them nonlinear, and many of which change and adapt over time. Together, these properties mean that small changes in one part of a system can generate massive and unpredictable changes in the system as a whole. The most pressing challenges facing science and society today, including global conflict, clean energy, climate change, stable and productive economies, indeed the sustainability of our human civilization, involve precisely these kinds of complex adaptive systems. And understanding them requires the kind of transdisciplinary, iconoclastic, high risk, high payoff scientific research for which the Santa Fe Institute is well known and increasingly imitated worldwide. A good example is the work of physicist Don Farmer and his colleagues, which uh, appeared on a front page article on the Wall Street Journal just last week. They argue that today's accepted economic models are so enamored with their own internal mathematical precision that they ignore major aspects of the real world that they're trying to capture most notably the messy realities of human thought, behavior, and irrationality. Farmer and his colleagues are building new kinds of models built up from the actions and behaviors of individuals and institutions that should lead to a better understanding of fundamental economic pressures and help to anticipate and mitigate economic crises. Other areas in which the Institute is challenging orthodoxy and pushing scientific boundaries include parallels between biological, social, and technological evolution, novel forms of computing and computer security inspired by biology, and the size, growth, and sustainability of social institutions such as firms and cities. A recent symposium on regulation, for example, concluded that systems in which regulation is organic, intrinsic, and bottoms up, like biology, for example, are generally more robust and innovative than systems in which regulation is extrinsic and imposed top down. In summary, the Santa Fe Institute is a place where transdisciplinary, iconoclastic, high risk, high reward research addresses the world's most challenging problems. Challenging orthodoxy requires not only extraordinary scientific vision, but equally visionary supporters. Please join us in tackling the most complex problems that face us. Thank you very much.